Chapter 18 of The Adventures of Poor Mrs. Quack. This is a Liverbox recording. All Liverbox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit liverbox.org. The Adventures of Poor Mrs. Quack by Thornton W. Burgess. Chapter 18 Sammy Jay Sends Mrs. Quack to the Swamp. When Sammy Jay left Mr. Quack in the swamp over by the bank of the big river. He flew straight back to the smiling pool. At first he thought of flying over the big river and screaming the news to Mrs. Quack, who, you know, was swimming about out there. But he knew that if he did, she would very likely fly right over where Mr. Quack was, and that wouldn't do at all. No, indeed, that wouldn't do at all. One of the hunters would be sure to see her. So Sammy wisely flew back to the smiling pool to wait until Mrs. Quack should come back there for the night. Of course, he told Peter Rabbit all about Mr. Quack, and Peter was so delighted at the thought that Mr. Quack was alive that he capered about in quite the crazy way. Does Mrs. Quack know yet? asked Peter. Sammy shook his head. I'm going to tell her when she comes back here tonight, he explained. I was afraid if I told her before, then she would fly straight to him and perhaps get them both in trouble. Quite right, Sammy, quite right, exclaimed Peter. I wouldn't have thought of that. My, won't she be happy when you do tell her? I wonder what she'll say and what she'll do. I'm going to stay right here so as to see her when she hears the good news. Here comes your cousin, Blacky the Crow. Does he know yet? No, replied Sammy, but I'm going to tell him as soon as he gets here. They watched Blacky draw nearer and nearer, and as soon as he was within hearing, Sammy shouted the news. Caw, 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 replied Blacky, hurrying a little faster. As soon as he reached the big hickory tree, Sammy told the whole story over again, and Blackie was quite glad as the others. While they waited for Mrs. Quack, he told how he had hunted and hunted along the further bank of the big river, and how he had seen the hunters with their terrible guns hiding, and had warned Mrs. Quack just where each one was. Jolly round, Red Mr. Sun was getting ready to go to bed, behind the purple hills, and the black shadows were beginning to creep out over the green meadows before Mrs. Quack came. In fact, Sammy Jay and Blackie were getting very uneasy. It was almost bedtime for them, for neither of them dared stay out after dark. They had almost made up their minds to leave Peter to tell the news when they saw Mrs. Quack coming swiftly from the direction of the big river. She looked so sad and discouraged that even Blacky the Crow was sorry for her, and you know Blacky isn't given to such feelings. What's the news, Mrs. Quack? asked Peter, his eyes dancing. There isn't any, replied Mrs. Quack. Oh, yes, there is, cried Sammy Jay, who couldn't possibly keep still any longer. What is it? demanded Mrs. Quack eagerly, and it seemed to Peter that there was a wee bit of hope in her voice. Did you happen to notice that just before the Laughing Brook joins the big river, it flows through a little swamp? asked Sammy. Mrs. Quack nodded her head rapidly. What of it? she demanded. Nothing much, only if I were you, I would go down there after dark, replied Sammy. Mrs. Quack looked up at Sammy sharply. Why should I go down there? she asked. If I tell you, will you wait until I get through? asked Sammy in his turn. Mrs. Quack promised that she would. Well then, replied Sammy, this afternoon I found a stranger hiding in there, a stranger with a beautiful green head and a neck and a white collar. Mr. Quack! Oh, it was Mr. Quack! cried Mrs. Quack joyfully and lifted her wings as if she would start for the swamp at once. Stop! cried Sammy. You said you would wait until I'm through. It won't do for you to go there until after dark, 
because there is a hunter hiding very near Mr. Quack's hiding place. Wait until it's dark, and he has gone home. Then take my advice, and when you have found Mr. Quack, bring him right here to the smiling pool. He can't fly, but he can swim up the laughing brook, and this is the safest place for both of you. Now, good night and good luck. End of chapter 18